Okay, you're gonna be wiring this up. And if you're not comfortable with wiring this, you know an electrician, if you've never had uh, experience wiring a unit up before, definitely call somebody who knows what they're doing. But this is gonna be a basic overview. Always follow your own schematics. So this is a basic, I'm using a switch, a thermostat, uh, swamp cooler switch. You can also get uh, thermostat ones that you can do with, uh, they turn off by themselves, this is manual. But uh, it's the one that uh, I'm gonna be using for the test in this unit. And as you can see in the back, it's got one, two, common, L1, and L2, which L2 is not used. And you can see here, this is coming from the circuit breaker. So you got black, 110 volts coming in. Some of these are 220, so this is only gonna be for 110. But, you know, you'll have black coming in, you have your ground wire coming in, and your white wire, which just ties into everything. It's common, so it just ties in. Ground just ties in. The only one that really worry about coming in is your black wire going to L1 on this. So follow, make sure you follow your own schematics. It's only for this. So right here is L1. Right here is L1, so that's gonna be where the hot's coming in. So then we got low, red. So red is gonna be for, for low speed on the motor. Black for high speed. You know, ground is just gonna go straight to ground. And white is gonna go straight to the white coming in off the wall right here. And you can take a look here, and I pull this apart so you can. On the back of the pump, you got on this one, on two-speed motors, you're going to have high, low, and common. I don't know if you can see that, but the one in the middle is common. And this one over here says high, and this one over here says low. So hopefully you can see that. If not, that's the way it is. And then, of course, it's got a little ground wire. And... Uh, so those are the wires that are running up there. The one thing is it comes to a little box and you need the pump to run. So it's got its own little 120 volt wires coming up and it's wired in and it's gonna be going to yellow for its wire and then its common side is just gonna be going to common, which is white. All the whites are tied together, so you need one side. And in this unit, the wire tied into yellow coming up. So here's yellow coming up. And if you look here, you got the pump. The pump is tied into two. So we're gonna tie it into two for the pump. Gonna tie it into number two for the pump. So I'm gonna go and wire these in, and I'm gonna test and see if the pump's working, if the motor's working, and how it's all working, and spinning the bearings and everything. And I'll be right back after I wire it up. All right, so there it is, it's all wired in. <clears throat> As you can see, I got the, the hot coming in right here. Commons are together, grounds, high, low, water pump. And I got it wired up. I have it right now on low cool. I don't know if you can see that, so it's upside down. I got it right now on low cool. And the water pump is not working, so it's gonna have to be replaced. It's old, looks rusted up. You know, these are simple to replace. They just got some screws on the top and the wiring going up, two wires. There's 110. That is not shooting out any water. The motor's working, so that's good. This belt looks like it'll be replaced. And some uh, bearing oil will be put inside of it, which just goes in right there on the other side, right there. I'll make another video about that. So there's some uh, oil you can buy and pop in there. So that's cool, at least the motor's working. But this is basically how you wire up a 110 swamp cooler. I'll put all, I'll do a write up on this and put some links below this video. And that's how you wire up a switch for a swamp cooler.